that's yeah, that's right. I mean, it's all about being in service, right? And yeah. Right. Balance of experience and energy and recognizing that when there's value to something, if you have an opening there, you can receive something beautiful. So yeah, that definitely right. thank you. And to thank you to Karen for that as well. Well, absolutely. I'll pass that on. But uh, she's a she's a real sweetheart. No surprise that she's giving big gifts like that to the world. But if you try it out, you'll see what I mean. The stuff is extremely powerful and helpful. And of course, not just for anxiety. It works incredibly well for uh, journeying, astral projection, for encountering souls of departed loved ones, for connecting with spirit guides, for uh, for really, you know, any kind of uh, getting to higher soul work and escaping the insanity of your ego. Love that. <laughs> the ego is right there at the heart of all addictions. The ego is not your friend in these kind of spiritual journeys, but you there's a facet of you, your higher soul, that is much more connected with the universe. It, is, it can scoff at the little petty games of the ego. Leave it in the dust, because there is a part of you that is far grander and wiser, and is also eternal. Part of you that expands when when the brain and body come to an end. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is in your book "Living in a Mindful Universe"? Do you? I haven't read it, uh, but do you have exercises in there as well? Like, so if somebody's looking, like, why would somebody pick up that book? You know, the, well, it has a lot of practical guidance. So, in other words, living in a mindful universe is two very major things. One thing is it's a powerful dose of unification of science and spirituality in the modern era, given all the scientific aspects of neuroscience, the hard problem consciousness, philosophy of mind, uh, with the binding problem, all the non-local consciousness, parapsychology, telepathy, uh, remote viewing, uh, of course, NDEs, and that huge category of parapsychology, uh, past life memories in children, indicative of reincarnation out of University of Virginia where they have more than 1,700 cases that they've actually solved over the last six decades, where they actually found the person described. Wow. Uh, so all of that blends in in the book. That's but cool. then beyond that, uh, we go into practical guidance uh, with discussing the nuts and bolts of sacred acoustics, of binaural beat brainwave entrainment. Uh, we give a lot of concrete examples of our personal experiences of using these kind of uh, meditative techniques to make significant gains in our own lives and in the lives of many people in our workshops, things like that. So it's a big blend of the science spirituality blending from a modern intellectual perspective, but also a tremendous amount of information to help people uh, in their personal journey. Now, to really get to the answer to your question, that's living in a mindful universe, which I highly recommend. But in addition, there is a companion workbook that goes with Living in a Mindful Universe. This workbook is free, and it's on ebonalexander.com. As soon as you get to my website, you'll find your 33-day journey into the heart of consciousness. That's the workbook. Cool. And that is what has a tremendous amount of practical guidance for people interested in all of these topics, and especially for learning about meditation and how to do it yourself, because the, that 33-day journey is a 33-day uh, email drip campaign where each day you get a major topic uh, from Living in a Mindful Universe that we discuss briefly, but then there are all these comments that people have left about their own experiences. More than 12,000 people have taken that course to date, uh, and many of them have left their own comments and helped each other. So there's a giant community forming uh, within the 33-day journey, but the whole thing is free. You get a 